Hello, everyone. Uh, hello, everyone. And uh, today, uh, well, thankfully, I got to get off work early. Uh, so I got home at lunch and all this stuff. stuff. And what do I hear today of YouTubers saying? There's now another Star Wars Rogue One trailer, which is exciting. I, got, I just got to watch it before making this. And this is what I want for a Star Wars movie like this. It feels very much like Up the Brink, Up the Edge. It's like this feeling of a last stand. This is its type of feeling of not just a singular type of mission that you need to do, but it's also a war film. And yet, the trailer kind of addresses like how... Um, uh, uh, Felicity Jones uh, has an extended connection with her father, played by the always awesome Mads Mikkelsen. Um, it's like how that has a connection to each other. And they're like, oh, wait a minute. There's... Her father have a connection with the building with the Death Star, or what's going on with their connection in there. And then the trailer, there, I love those little moments. There's just certain great moments I love. It's just like there's a scene where it's very much just like she's like she's like rebellions are built on hope, and they're all like hell yeah. They, they I love that little scene. They're just like it's like yeah, she knows what's up, and I love that feeling. It's just. And so much levity and power to it, and I love it. Also, I have a feeling this is as grim and dark as Star Wars is going to get. Now, granted, it can go down darker paths, but I mean, but I mean on focus and tone, particularly. This could be like, like, like I think I said before, this could be like a Band of Brothers or Saving or Saving Private Ryan, uh, and kind of a feeling and tone to it, which I love both. Saving Private Ryan and Band of Brothers. Seriously, Band of Brothers is fantastic. I love this series to death. And I highly recommend for anyone to watch it. It's just amazing, in my opinion. You get this just this clear feeling of a dire last stand. This is it. The moment of it. It's like you got to take advantage of any, any type of moment you can get. Just succeed and also you get to see more Vader in this trailer although you get to see like in total probably about five six seconds of Vader which doesn't matter how much you give me I love me some Vader and you know what I'm very very happy and thankful for that and I'm super happy to see it and it's just like yes and great another great thing about this trailer is that more well, as we got to see before with the other trailers is that this is Gareth Edwards directing no, you may may not love his you may not love his Godzilla film, but there's one thing about that film that was continuously great is that it showed the scale and ratio and the epic size feeling. And I know here on the internet everyone says, Oh epic always word, but this looks like an epic film. It really, really does. This feels like I said before, like the band of brothers feeling of it. And uh, again, I loved it. There's a certain shot that you see of heading down on the planet. And it's just like, uh, there's like a building like right in the middle. And there's like some little bits of forest, jungle type of uh, palm tree forest like that. And you can see water around it. I, I'm like, yes, that looks so cool. That looks so, so interesting. I love that look. It very much had like a World War II Thailand feel to it. Like if you watch, like I said, Band of Brothers or... Uh, the Pacific, or they like, very much like that feeling to it. If you watch those series, then you know the type of tone I'm going for with, with relevance to that. But yes, overall, Star Wars. Wait, let me let me just look at this. But, uh, yeah. And this looks so damn good, and Mads Mikkelsen looks amazing. Although I will say, when you when I see him in the clips of the trailer, I'm like, he looks like as he did in Valhalla Rising. It's that's just me though. He he kind of looks like that, and uh, it's just it feels so ambiguous. Like what's going on? It's like oh, it, that's a dream. Is it? She's in a jail cell. Jail cell. It's like people are breaking her out. It's like, oh yeah, come here. Rebellion. And it, oh yeah, here you go. Bring back Rebellion. The more intense feeling, the friction. Oh, that's a brilliant 
that was a brilliant shot right there. Right into one minute mark in the trailer, you get to see like the clouds like right here, and in this like you can see a fade light, the dark blue, and coming kind of, like, up the space, and you just see this foreshadowing look of the Star Destroyer, but half of the top of it, and it just looks like like I said before, it's the magnitude and the size that makes this Star Wars movie so much more different. It's the size. The tone and the grim, dark last stand of a feeling that makes me really excited for, makes me really, really pumped to see this. Now, I don't expect this movie to be like extremely graphic, like Kill Bill Volume 1 or 300 or anything, but I do expect it to at least see some brutal deaths and some truly, really, some true heartbreaking moments in this. And overall, for me, it just looks excellent. Seriously. Star Wars, we're going to Star Wars, sorry. and again, that robot, played by Alan Tudyk, Tudyk, oh uh, crap, I can't pronounce his name for the life of me, God, help, uh, regardless, yeah, it, it looks exceptional, I am excited for this trailer, and yeah, uh, check it out everyone, I really do suggest, watch this trailer as always, and uh, yeah, well, as always, the link for this will be found down below. And, uh, yeah, till the end of one, I'll see you guys this weekend with a movie review. I just don't know what yet, or what movie I'll be seeing, but I do know I will be seeing the movie. I just need to find a movie I want to see. But regardless, I know I will be... Uh, excuse me. Uh... Yeah, regardless, I know I, I will be no matter what making them uh, a video this weekend at least, because next week I'm going on vacation. I won't see you. I won't make a video. Well, actually, I won't have a connection to the internet for a while. So, unfortunately, but yeah, I'll see you guys till this weekend. And remember, may the force be with you always.